In the back seat of a taxi, we ride by palm trees like pool halls, seek refuge in the shadows, the sun hotter here somehow. Drivers talk on headsets and cut off shirts and khakis, weaving through traffic like this would make an atheist believe in God. The light is fading, but the city isn't. You can feel it, humming, my old man when he doesn't know the words. Streets full of fruit carts and long shadows, that stretch down side roads and roll off into nowhere. A boy pops wheelies on a bike. I walk through alleys the dead ends, past hotel lobbies and local shops no bigger than a doorway. Plastic bicycles suspended in the air, out front like pinatas, spinning. A man makes me an offer and whispers with a tilted head and smiles so wide I can see fresh blood between his molars. I keep it moving. People stop me to tell stories in broken English and translate with their hands. I talk about New York like they want me to. The night checks in as the sun checks out. Blueberries, peaches, mashed, mixed. Purple and pink, they stain the sky. Perched on treetops and telephone poles, Birds sing with a full breast, like Miss Brown taught us in middle school. Over the horns and screeching brakes, you can hear them looking for lovers. As darkness falls, the lights come on, like a switch flipped the breaker for the entire city all at once. I see vendors selling street food who run diners out of dump trucks who wield spatulas like sabers and serve samosas so fast they should make cooking an Olympic sport. It comes with practice, they tell me, said it's a calling, like going to temple on Tuesdays. Too many pock off paper plates. I wonder when I got so far from home.